Charles Hawkins. BC on BC. Okay, and uh, you are three, three fourths. Who's who's uh, who will be playing uh, drums with you guys? You guys aren't joined by a drummer right now, or? Yeah, well, we got a drummer on that uh, uh, Winter Blast gig. But, yeah. Um, Ken Spiderweb Rice. Okay. Cool. Also, Good name. <laughs> <laughs> also uh, on keyboards, Robert Jones. Okay. Okay. So, um, uh, for those of you who don't know, Black Murder. Um, uh, was around in the, in the 60s and recorded um, two records, one for chess and another for... Oh, man. Oh, well, actually, I can actually look, right? No, both. Actually, yeah. it was like 70, 1970. Oh, I thought, oh, I was, I, I thought I was the first record came out in 68. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, why don't you... Why don't, can you pick up the story and sort of, uh, sort of tell people how, how Black Murder got started and, 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 um, and, and why, why you're reforming now, I guess. <laughs> well, the reason we're reforming now is because... Uh, we started getting a lot of uh, interest in our old old material, record collectors, people like that. Okay. And, uh, yeah, because so. the record was sort of a, like a legend, like a uh, a legendary record, like a cult record. Like people oh, sought yeah. it out, you know, or, or like, find, like tried to find the jams, like you know. Exactly. Yeah. It was, it was very uh, difficult to find them. The ones that could find were passed around clandestinely, right. and oh, so as, you, as, you, as, you were a well kept secret. You know, you were familiar with that. Within the last year, I, I became familiar with that. Oh, okay. I was talking to my record collector friends as I started to hear about this. Reissue come out, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. That's We're on cool. the one. Is that, is that about know. right, though? I mean, <laughs> no, nobody thought to pick up the phone and call you guys. <laughs> no one <laughs> told us. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I think, that's, I think that's about right. You, you want to tell them, Wolf, about what happened with how, you know, how we got started in that whole deal? <laughs> I mean, going back how far? Well, <laughs> we got the context of, of, how, of, of how Black Murder became Black Murder and, and, and sort of the talk about the music you played and the context in which you were playing it when you first started. Well, actually, we was on the road with uh, Edwin Starr. Okay. One of the Motown artists. Yep. And um, came across Jimi Hendrix, of yeah. course, <laughs> and uh, decided to leave Edwin, form a new group, Okay. Eventually, we named it Black Murder. Okay. And uh, began to do that type of music. Like the Jimi Hendrix? Like well, Jimi Hendrix. Well, well, like like yeah, more like a yeah, funk, funk rock type. <laughs> funk rock, yeah. yeah. Not, not as psychedelic as Hendrix was. Right. right. Yeah. Not quite as far <laughs> out. You know. But uh, basically, you know, that was the influence. Okay. Jimi Hendrix, the Beatles. Yep. You know, we did our Muddy Waters. Yeah, Muddy Waters, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the blues guys, right. Yeah, we love those guys. And then, okay, and then what, what were you thinking? How were you, like, you going to um, take those straight-up blues guys and, and make them your own? What were you thinking at the time? Well, you know, we weren't really trying to imitate those guys. Yeah. You know, I, you know, like, I really like Muddy Waters, and we just wanted to kind of do some real-type music like that. We always liked the blues. Okay. So mm -hmm. we just kind of... Uh, Maybe it kind of got incorporated into what we were doing, our own original styles, but we weren't mm -hmm. actually trying to you know, uh, imitate those cats. Okay. Exactly. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> Chris is getting over cold. <laughs> I know. Um, so where, where would you guys, would you guys um, play on, out on clubs? Like, what was the, the club scene like around here? I mean, was there, a, like, a big audience for it, obviously, in the wake of Jimi Hendrix? And well, not in, not in the black community. Yeah. You know, but so that's kind of, we played a lot of the... Uh, you know, black clubs. We played maybe a couple of white clubs here and there. And, uh, so the music we played for those people was really, was really like cutting edge. Right. Yeah. The groups weren't doing that. We were dressing kind of, you know, freaked out. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> a little before the parliament. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because mm -hmm. yeah, we knew the problem is well, we're, we're, they were still like dressing with the uniforms like the Temptations. Right, know? right. <laughs> so what were some of the other bands at that, at that point that you were local? I mean, Detroit bands. I mean, you remember any of the... Any of the Not guys so much from to... Detroit. No. Well, no. there was a cast around like Leonard King and the Soul Messengers, uh, mm -hmm. Counts. the Counts. The Counts, yeah. Uh, who else was around? Uh, oh, uh, the... Bobby Franklin and Insanity. Insanity, right. Mm -hmm. But they called... came a little later. They came later, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Black Nasty. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Black yeah. Nasty. You remember that? <laughs> Party on 4th Street. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you ever heard of Mad Dog and the Pups. You ever heard no, of those no. guys? No. <laughs> <laughs> Right. A few crazy groups. Yeah. 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 Everybody tried to have a crazy name back then. You know? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so there no, no like Black Murder and Black Nasty never did a double bill. And, nah. uh, <laughs> and no. a nasty Murder show. <laughs> no, actually, I, I think they, you know, when we started using Black Murder locally, there weren't any groups calling themselves Black anything. Then after right. a while, we started saying you know, Black Nasty, Black Mirage, Black. It was just black right, right. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of people thought it was uh, 
a racial thing, but you right. know, we were doing it, you know, like Black Sabbath, you know, they right, were right. group. Mm. Yeah, but it was a Black Sabbath group. Right. 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 <laughs> so now, so now I never told these guys what the real meaning of black murder was. This is, this is oh. a secret. This is the first, first time we everyone, everyone needs to know that how it's spelled first. <laughs> okay, I spell M E R D A. Right. Uh-huh. You know, so, uh, but originally we were, we, was, we were spelling it just like murder. Like, right. Okay. Like, like how you kill somebody, so then we, we thought that was a little too negative, so. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know, it's a, border, it's a borderline call, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So now, the, the true meaning of black murder, so I never even told my bandmates this, you know, mm-hmm. but it, was, it, was, it means uh, four, well, now it's only three of us, originally it was four of us, it means four funked out, psyched out, Badass black guys. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, I thought it meant to kill a lie. <laughs> it means that too. <laughs> it means that too. Kill the lie. Well, I finally found we, out. Yeah, we was rebellious and we were going to kill the lie, you know. <laughs> right, right. right. I admit that too, yeah. Yeah. What does it mean to you, Charles? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, the, actually, you know, when we first started, uh, the name we were going to, I, I had suggested, uh, Murder Incorporated, wasn't it? Yeah, Murder right. Incorporated. Murder Incorporated. Yeah. Uh, Proto Gangster. Yeah, that was, that was, that was right. But uh, Murder Inc. Uh, VC, you know, he put said, no, let's just try Black Murder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that was too yeah. negative. It sounds too much like a criminal organization, Murder yeah. Incorporated. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but we, you know, mm-hmm. it turned out Black Murder. Yeah. Uh, should we, should we play some music for him already? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah Black Murder's um, just. Uh, Excuse me, hold on, let's take over. Um, in March, uh, Tough City is uh, re-releasing uh, a record called The Folks from Mother's Mixer, which is a compilation of Black Murder, uh, the debut full length, and Long Burn the Fire. Um, mm-hmm. And they're putting them together on one package called The Folks from Mother's Mixer. And um, if you want to check it out, it's at toughcity.com. Um, that's out in March. Um, but let's hear a track now. You want to hear... Um, you guys know we're talking about playing The Prophet, right? The Prophet, yeah. yeah. You do Prophet first. You want to uh, start, start the song? The Prophet. Or? Wolf, you want to say so, that? Or you want to just hear it? You want to play it? Do you want to say anything about it, Wolf? You know? Well, no. Yeah. Let him hear it. Let, let, let the, the music speak. Let the music speak. All right, here's The Prophet by Black Murder. <laughs>
All right. That was The Prophet by Black Murder. Right. Uh, off yeah, of their, yeah. the new mm -hmm. compilation, The Folks from Mother's Mixer. That's the lead track. Um, and that compiles both The Black Murder uh, uh, record and Long Burn the Fire. Um, What's the title in reference to the, uh, the Folks from Mother's Mixer? Well, I'll let you take that, <laughs> Wolf. Well, during the time, you know, back in the 70s, I won't say 60s, but um, we was trying to come up with some song that had something to do with society mm -hmm. and what was going on and, um, and tried to make the titles catchy. Okay. So that was one of the titles I came up with for the song, talking about Mother Earth. Yep. But, yep. you know, gave it a little mysterious sound. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, that was a good line. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. Mother's yeah. Mixer, like, right. that's, uh, that's where we are, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. We're all, yeah. we're all so in fast. Mother's Mixer, right? Right. right. See, right. See, so what, mother, yeah. Slow down and stop, because mm -hmm. you're moving too fast, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So Basically, the, the song is simple, but the title is complicated. <laughs> right. That's <laughs> the way it should be. <laughs> yeah, and the record company at Tough City, they thought that title was great, so they wanted to yeah. have the title of yeah, the mm -hmm. tracks. You know? um, so how did, how did you come to, I mean, it's been 30 years since the record came out, right? Yeah. And like, how did you come to start, uh, I mean, to have the record re-released? -re and you guys just played last week at the Midwinter Blast, at the Motown Winter Blast, right? Right, yeah. So uh, how did how did that all how did it come to pass that you got active again? Well, um, <laughs> <laughs> there was a Metro big Metro Times article, right? Uh, December first, mm -hmm. they had a front page like five pages in there, and uh, Marla Schwartz, the local promoter, saw that okay article. She was so impressed by the story that she said, you know, I got to have these guys on this show. So she asked, oh us no, we would do it. yeah, she kind of asked us, will we do it? So we right. said, oh, yeah, that, that might be fun. So we started to try to rehearse, get some cats to play with us, you know. Okay. So it kind of came about that way, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, so, I mean, how did the, um, like you were saying, like the, the, the record has sort of been um, circulated underground or out of, out of print for right. a long time. How did, how did you come to get in touch with the folks at Tough City and, and have them uh, re-release the record? Well, they actually well, they got in touch with yeah. us. Right. They, 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 right. yeah. they bought yeah. the rights to it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. From Chess Records. Yeah. So it's, yeah, just mm -hmm. yeah. right. Mm -hmm. And decide to release it as a part of their program. They're, yeah, they're ongoing. Yeah, because mm -hmm. we like they just did they did uh, like a couple Andre Williams records that we've been, that we've right. been playing. Right. Right. Um, yeah, like Lee Rogers, another local gang. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Nathan Mayor and. And they did that funky, funky Detroit comp, I think, too. Wait, that, did they? That was, yeah, we were telling you about that, with that Black Nasty's on. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just saw that. Hey, can, so. I, can I say one thing? I was on yeah. the radio. I want to say, yeah. I want to say hi to my wife, Tina, my daughter, Leanna, son, <laughs> Yogi. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I say hi to my wife and son all the time, too. I might as well do it, too. Hi, Sheila. Hi. <laughs> That's, That's cool. cool. That's great. Get everybody on. I'm way up in it, but I do want to say... Um, <laughs> That Spider, the drummer, and Robert Jones, they performing with the Punk Brothers. Yeah, they are. Okay. So I'm sure Detroit is familiar <laughs> with those people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah so how, how was the show? I mean, how did it go? How did it feel? Fantastic, so, right. man. Really? Mm -hmm. it was off the hook. <laughs> <laughs> right. So a lot of people think we, we're just coming back together, uh -huh. which we are as a group. Right. Mm -hmm. But myself... Uh, I'm Charles Hawkins, and this is Anthony Hawkins, which is my brother. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, right. we've been together for, uh, Ever. I ain't gonna say how long, how many years, but, <laughs> <laughs> so we've always been together as far as, uh, uh making music also, you know, mm -hmm. okay, if, you were all brothers. one was doing some, brothers, some music, yeah. if, if, uh, one was doing music, they would call, one would call the others, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay, Whether sessions, recordings, yeah. whatever, right. yeah, right, yeah, have you done other, any other records, like, together that, that people might have heard about or, or just getting together for fun and Mostly like, in the work, past. work out your chops in songwriting? Yeah, we did uh, recording in the past that mm -hmm. people may, may know, like Agent Double of Soul, okay. Edwin Starr, um, a lot of the Golden World. I don't know if people remember Golden World. <laughs> Motown <laughs> bought them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, you guys played on Agent Double of Soul? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we uh, played on that, yeah. Ah, yeah. Most of the song <laughs> that came out of that company during that time, Okay. we... Yeah. You know, play it on. We used, okay. to call, we used to be called the soul agents back then. You know? oh, right, right. <laughs> Double or soul. And the yeah. soul agents. Yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> Which came first? The name or the jam? <laughs> the jam. <laughs> awesome.
Mm-hmm. So um, uh, coming up, you, are there? You guys already said you were uh, talking to people about playing other shows, so right? Some yeah. things that may or may not be in the works, or yeah, you know, well, that's nothing we can say definitely right okay. now. But we are trying to. We like to do some type of college tour, you know. Oh you guys, yeah, you guys are ready to get back in the van oh, yeah, no and hit doubt. the road. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, man, it'll be fun. A very big, a, a yeah. very big luxury van. Though, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Star Cross. No other way. And uh, by the way, your record company's paying for yeah, it. That's right. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> oh, they will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's call it tour support. Yeah. If you need to put any pressure on them. Let them know, let yeah. us know. Yeah. And also, we we probably we're gonna try to get get together some new material as well you know mm-hmm. once we get this thing going we're gonna try to hook up some new material just as good as the old material or, or better mm-hmm. better know? hopefully yeah yeah well I, you know the, the 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 rock scene could use a shot in the arm like that <laughs> for yeah, sure. yeah that'd cool, be man. nice to do yeah <laughs> well the way the audience reacted to our performance uh, uh last week yeah we believe that uh we can make a big dent because they were really into it really yeah they were oh, really yes. rocking oh, man yeah. it was like you know maybe 20-something, 30-year-old type crowd. You know? Right. right. Yeah. Change a lot of minds. Uh, yeah, open so. a lot of heads. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> they were into it. A lot of people thought it was uh, new music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, they didn't have any idea it was 30 years old, 35 years old. <laughs> it's timeless. Yeah. 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 Good to know. All right. So let's, uh, let's play one more song. Uh, we should play, you want to play Cynthia Ruth or do you want to play yeah. something else? I mean, you guys... Cynthia Ruth is cool. Is there something you like? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're going to play Cynthia Ruth off uh, the Folks from Mother's Mixer compilation by Black Murder. Um, compiles um, Long Burn the Fire and the original Black Murder record um, from 1970? 70. 72? Right. <laughs> 70. Yeah. Well, 70, 70 and 72. That's yeah, the okay. release date. Right. right. All right. Mm-hmm. right. Great. Um, and what else? Yeah. It's, uh, go, if you want to check it out, go to um, toughcity.com and you can get more information. And for the vinyl. Yeah, uh, Stormy Records. Oh yeah, if you want, yeah. yeah, go down to Stormy Records in Dearborn, and uh, they they have the vinyl there too. Right. Um, Stormy is always a good hookup for. You guys have a, you a website or anything yet? Nope, not yet. No, okay. that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let us know, and we'll let well, yeah our listeners know. Okay, cool. <laughs> sure, All right. will. sure will. All right, so let's hear Cynthia Ruth, and uh, and we'll come back and uh, and wrap it up with Black Murder on Radio Fever.
All right, that was Cynthia Ruth by Black Mirror. I'm not talking over it. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's one of those radio things. I know, exactly. <laughs> it's always annoying when the guy comes in and starts talking over. That's something pro jocks do. Thankfully, you'll never hear that on Radio Fever. Yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Get over your cold already, All right, Chris. all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, um, uh... I just I want to say thanks to you guys for coming in. Um, we've been we've been playing uh, Cynthia Ruth and the Prophet and a couple other jams, and uh, we've been getting really good feedback oh, on cool, it. Oh, cool, man! So um, I'm I'm sure that you 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 know heard rumors of you know people pricking up their ears to it. So yeah, oh yeah, That's cool, man. Yeah. I hope I hope uh, I hope you will come back in if you get if you got shows coming up and uh, no doubt. say hello to the people. And, Give us a give us an update. Yeah, yeah when been, you come been, back, you bring, in, you bring records though. Bring oh, records. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, you got it. All right. Um, <laughs> <what vinyl? laughs> we appreciate you having us on, man. Yeah, fun. Oh, that, thanks. Okay. So, thanks. So Stop by anytime. Um, and uh, people can go check out toughcity.com uh, right. and look for the folks and mothers mixer. And uh, they also have the vinyl of each of the records: Longer in the Fire and Black Murder. Uh, the debut record um, at toughcity.com. And it'll, it'll be in all the record stores like in March. The CD will? Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. And then you can pick up the vinyl now at Stormy. Right. right. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, thanks for coming cool. in, guys. Thanks a lot. All right. Good luck with everything. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I was